Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. This one is the last one of the day. It is the last one of the year. And it is my final opportunity to thank each and every one of you who watches the channel and who has subscribed especially. I want to say thank you very much. I would ask any of you regulars, I still want to thank you for watching. But please do consider subscribing. It's the last day of the year. It's an excellent day to do it. We can start the new year together on our journey, striving towards ever more truthfulness and revelations of the awfulness of Scottish politics. Now, I want to finish on a high note. I want to finish on something that is good and worthy and will be um, carried forward for a little while. And so we're looking at, of course, predictions. Predictions that, you know, are always good on the last day of the year. You look forward to seeing what is coming or what is likely. And we have this piece here where the bookies have been sort of putting together a bit of fun, a bit of who's going to do what and how much and see what odds you can get. And I thought it's definitely worth us having a look at that. Uh, some of the things um, will surpri probably surprise you. Other things you'd think are dead certs. Let's have a look. So hopeless Humza Yousaf is odds on to be out of Butte House by Hogmanay 2024. Now, I will say at the time of recording this, there is 11, 12, 12 and a half hours remaining uh, until midnight tonight. So there's, there is a very small possibility still remaining that he could be out of Butte House by Hogmanay 2023. I mean, 12 and a half hours is a long time in politics. One never knows what revelation is going to come out next, especially not involving the SNP. But uh, yeah, he's odds on that he is going to be off. Uh, McBookie is predicting a change of SNP leader in the coming 12 months, with Kate Forbes the favourite to replace Hamza Yousaf, who is at 25 to 1 to head off to the jungle. Let's hope it's one way. But yeah, I mean, it's more or less certain that uh, there's a picture of the current and next leader of the SNP. And this time next year, of course, we could be saying there's a picture of the current and previous leader of the SNP. And I say by next year, I mean, January the 1st, tomorrow onwards, really. At that moment, he must be put on notice. He knows she's coming for him. And he must know she's going to win. Anyway, Scotland is set to get a new First Minister in 2024, according to the bookies. I think it's worth putting a wee punt on that myself. Nothing major. Stick a fiver on it. Uh, anyway, Humza Yousaf is odds-on to be out of Butte House by next Hogmanay, with Kate Forbes' favourite to replace him. Labour are closing in on the SNP in the polls, and some experts are predicting a tough time for the Nationalists in the looming general election. And indeed, we did the, the video earlier today showing how they are uh, falling behind in the polls. Now it's terrible. Uh, but there is actually an update on that. Uh, and it looks like they could be losing between 28 and 30 seats. Uh, but we'll do that story tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on how bad I am tonight. I can't guarantee there'll be any uh, videos tomorrow, but I hope you understand why. We shall see. But it's not all bad news for Yousaf, as McBookie reckons he could go straight into the jungle as a highly paid contestant on the ITV show I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. I'd love to see him eating koala testicles and kangaroo anus. Wouldn't be the first though, would it? Uh, elsewhere, Scotland football manager Steve Clark is 4-1 to one to be made a knight, although Scotland remains 80-1 to one outsiders to win the European Championships next summer. I shan't be wasting my money on that one. Sorry, guys. McBoogie spokesman Paul Petrie said, 2024 may just be one of the most momentous years in modern political history. We could have a new First Minister, new Prime Minister, new US President, perhaps all of them, within the space of only a few weeks. What would the world look like after that is anybody's guess. And bizarrely, the form of the Scotland football team is perhaps the most predictable thing going at the moment. And it's not often you can say that. Yes, yes. We've done well getting there, let's be honest, but um, not going to win it, are we? You know, it's not that I'm saying England are going to win it. Nah. 
Anyway, recent polls have the SNP and Labour neck and neck north of the border. Um, and uh, Labour are just screaming it south of the border. So let's be honest, it's going to be a Labour government. Uh, but with a general election touted to be just round the corner, either May or October, depending, McBoogie have the Nationalists four to seven to win the most seats. But a bad night at the ballot box could see Yousaf ousted. So they're actually favourite to win the most seats in Scotland. I don't think so. Um, I think the latest polls show it going to be uh, Labour. But hey, might be worth a pump. Who knows? Anyway, either way, he's 8 to 11 on to be gone in the next 12 months. The bookies have got no faith in Hamza Yousaf either. Ex-Finance Secretary Forbes was narrowly beaten by Yousaf in the previous SNP leadership contest last March. And she is 5 to 2 favourite to be the next FM. But also in the running are the 30-year-old Rising Cabinet star Mary McAllen at 4-1. to one. The Saturday girl as leader. Give her word. She hasn't got any experience or knowledge at all. Uh, veteran Angus Robertson is 5-1. to one. Again, an absolute disaster for the SNP if he takes over. He's tarnished, tainted and toxic. Current Westminster Deputy Leader Mary Black is 8-1. to one. Well, maybe. I wouldn't bet on that one. Uh, again, another one that's toxic. Uh, she's standing down as an MP at the next election, which could clear a path to a seat at Holyrood if party fixes are keen. I don't think there's anyone too keen on Mary Black. They were glad to get the smell out last time. Uh, and they're busy scrubbing the seats in Parliament in preparation for a going this time, aren't they? Old soap dodger. Um, a Scot has never won I'm a Celebrity and we've not had anyone in the jungle since actor John Barrowman. It's a bit scraped in the barrel calling him Scottish. Yes, I know he was born there, but uh, he lived in most of his Canadian, isn't he? Um, he finished third in 2018. Ex-Rangers and Scotland striker turned pundit Ali McCoist is 2-1 to one to be next. And the former Olympics curling skip Eve Muirhead, 5-2. to two. I remember watching that curling. Sitting up late, late as you like. God, it was a, it's a cracking sport. Uh, anyway, Yousaf is a 25-1 to one shot. Yeah, he's not, who really wants to be watching him? Other than watching him out of hate watching him. <laughs> anyway, if Clark were to be knighted, he'd be the first sporting Scot since fellow footballer Kenny Dalglish back in 2018 to have the honour bestowed upon him. His Scotland team are 8-11 to 11 to progress to the no knockout rounds in Germany and 8-1 to 1 to beat England at some point in the competition. The way England are playing, I wouldn't put it past them, to be honest. Anyway, so we're going to go through some of the odds here. I'm not going to do them all. I'll put them up and hold it and you can look at them if you pause the video. But um, interesting ones, I think. Hamza to be um, First Minister at the end of next year. 8-11, to 11, no. Basically, he's out. He's done. He's finished. Uh, they reckon the SNP are favourite to get the most seats at the next general election. I think that's definitely not the case. I think you'd get better odds. Labour have definitely got that one in the bag, I think. Next permanent SNP leader. Now, th this is interesting. I'm going to go through this one because obviously Kate Ford's favourite. We all know. We all know. But look who's 66 to 1. Alex Salmond is 66 to 1 to be the next SNP leader. He's not even in the SNP and he is more favourite than Stephen Flynn who desperately wants the job. Poor old Stephen Flynn. He's sitting there looking at that and going, what the hell? Unbelievable, isn't it? You, you've got to feel sorry for Beryl. Uh, anyway, the Euros, well, let's not bother. I'll give you 4-1 Steve Clark getting knighted. I think that's fair enough. Uh, and there you go for the next uh, Scots on Ivor Celebrity. Lewis Capaldi, doubt it. He's got too many issues. Uh, the Proclaimers, one or both? There's an interesting question. And if they were voted out, would they both have to go? There's another thing, you see. Jimmy Somerville, you know, someone in the jungle will leave and he'll say, don't leave me this way. Uh, Alex Salmond, well, you know, he'd be desperate enough for the money. Anyway, there we go, rounding that off. I shall round off and come up. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the big thing. He's favourite to go. She's favourite to replace him. I think that if you can have a little bet, if you can have a little, a little wager, a little friendly couple of quid, don't go mad. I think that's your bet. I'm coming up. 
Right then, I think we'll round it off there. Rounding it off for the year, I want to, take a, as I say, thank every single person who has watched my videos, who's commented on my videos, who's liked my videos, and mostly of all, those who've subscribed. You are stars. You absolutely massively help the channel because of the algorithm. I may be back tomorrow. It may be late. I may only do one or two. I may not be here tomorrow at all. It all really rather depends on how well I am. I may be coming down with a virus. Maybe, you know, the sort of thing. We have to lie in bed all day, heads whirling, very dry of mouth, that kind of virus. But to each of you, whether you're off having a party, hosting a party, going down to the pubs, sitting at home quietly, uh, whether you're having a, a meal, friends round, whether you're alone, Whatever you're doing, please do it safely. Do it well. Please look after yourselves. We're putting 2023 behind us. It's been a terrible year for me. Um, there's been illnesses in the family. I've been particularly ill. Um, all sorts of, of problems and whatever. I don't want to go into too much detail. We've come out through it stronger, wiser and better. And we're looking forward to 2024. May it be better still than 2023. And may it be better for each and every one of you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I bid you adieu. Enjoy your evening. Happy New Year. Happy Hogmanay. Just go and enjoy it. I am. Bye.